Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today is going to be a very short day, but you're not even going to notice it. It's snowing out at the moment, and I've already been working for what is it, five hours today, and I have absolutely nothing done on this wall here at all. What I did this morning was get a bunch of tasks that needed to get done on the outside because it's going to be incredibly cold for the next four days. I don't want to even go out there if I don't have to. I'll be moving this back out there to make a cut or two for like the pipes and stuff on here, but other than that, I'm not going to do anything outside for the next four days. So I was out there doing all that stuff, and that included spritzing my trees and doing stuff with the horses and finding my materials over in the shed. And by the time I got done with that, I was frozen solid. I went upstairs to have lunch. I sat down, had lunch, turned on the heater, was watching YouTube, and I fell asleep. And I only fell asleep for about a half hour, 45 minutes. But when I woke up, I could see that it was snowing out. I looked over at the horses and they had snow on their backs, except for Frankie, she was in the run-in. And so I rushed down here and Cindy and I dragged the saw back in. It was sitting out in the snow, had about a half inch of snow on top of it. But all I had to do was brush that off. None of it melted, so no harm to the saw. But there might have been if I left it out there. So I am completely out of time. It is pushing three o'clock and I have nothing done. So I think what I'm gonna do is just get started I'm gonna cut that foam out of the back. My drain pipe is gonna to have to twist into the back and then come around. So I'll get that cut out and just get set up for tomorrow. And this is gonna be one of those very few videos that's continued the next day. So let's get started and cut that foam out. Okay, I think we have a winner here, but I need one part and I can get that at the local town. And I think I'm gonna run right now, go get that, and then I'll mess with this tomorrow. What I have here, this joint right here, I have it barely on there. If I push it all the way on, this will go down to about, probably down to about 12 and a half and it needs to be up at 13 and a half. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this down, way down here, and slip a union over that. Then I can put a short chunk of pipe the exact height that I need, and then get this up to exactly 13 and a half right here. That's the critical dimension. The other dimension, I wanted it to be at least 16 inches from this edge, and it's 17, but that's with this joint pulled, you know, most of the way out. So this will end up being about 17 and a half, and that's not that big of a problem. 
we have from 12 inches, this is where the sink will end, right at the end of the tape there. That leaves that much room for molding. So that should be just fine. Okay, got a plan. I'm gonna go get that fitting and I will be back with you tomorrow. Okay, it's day two on this project. I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up. I ran to the store and got a few more parts. I'll show you them in just a second. But we also have this stuff here. This is from my burn. What happened was the cats are low on food and we have a cat who had a stroke and he's, he's just kind of odd. He was a rescue cat and he was really, really skinny when we first got him and he had gut problems and lots of stuff wrong with this cat. But last year he had a stroke and he runs kind of crooked. And what he did was he was really anxious to get some food so he ran down the stairs as I was going down the stairs and when I was on like the second stair from the bottom he ran right into the back of my leg and I fell and landed on the stove. I got a couple pictures of the handprint on the stove. It went <laughs> It's a little over 400 degrees. So Cindy said, get, you know, get your hand under the water, which is exactly what you got to do. You put your hand under cold water or whatever part you burned and you leave it there for five full minutes. And I believe I did it for six or seven. I didn't hear the timer go off. And then I had to get my hand dried, which is really a problem. And I was going to put some of this burn gel on but it's not gel, it's liquid. But I did put it on and it, it worked really good. But then when I was gonna put the bandages on, I, I came out here to get bandages because we actually had burn bandages, but there's only one in there. My nephew bought me all of these bandages, so I'm looking through them for burn bandages. There was none, but really doesn't matter. I use these. And then I used another burn gel, which did not work. It was like blue, that blue stuff for sunburn. So once I got these on, because this is liquid instead of gel, see this has lidocaine in it, 4%. The other burn gel was menthol, 2%, just not going to cut it. So I just dribbled this stuff down behind the bandages and it soaks into these pads and it works real good. So I'm going to try to get this drain and this hot water pipe finished today. But first, I'm going to clean this mess up a little bit. All right, I got the area all cleaned up, got my saw ready to cut some pipe. And I was looking at the center line of this faucet and I had it drawn an inch over too far. It's actually at 15. So this is two inches over to the left too far. So I gotta make that up too. These are the parts I got yesterday. This is gonna go down here. So I gotta cut that with my amazing oscillating multi-tool. And I think I'll just get this on right away and then fit everything from that. So what I'll have to do is get all of these joints sanded so that they slip onto each other better. You can see without really forcing it, I can't get it on much more than it is right now. But if I put glue on that, it'll slide all the way on. So if I fit everything to the way they are now, it's not gonna fit right once it's glued. And if I force everything together as far as it's gonna go, it'll be on there so tight that I can't get it off. So I gotta sand all of the joints nice and well so everything comes on and off real easy. Then I'll adjust it up a hair and over two inches.
on a bunch of sanding. For some reason, this long sweep here, the sockets are just way too small. Everything else fits pretty good, but this is just way off. So I sanded the hell out of the pipe so that it goes in fully. And this is my center line, and this is my center line going horizontally. So that is about it. Now I'm going to glue these one at a time and then fit it back to this. I'm not just going to glue this whole thing up. So I'm going to glue this one to this one and then I'm going to put this one on and mark where the next one goes and work my way down. And I should have a nice centered drain. And there you have it. My drain is done. This piece is loose, as it says, and I just write that on there so that once I put the drywall on and stuff, this joint is going to be inside the drywall and I won't be able to see like purple in there or anything. And if I don't get to this for like a half a year or something, I may think that this is uh, glued inside there and it would leak. This way there's not going to be problems like that. So next on this, I need to get the brace going across right underneath here and then I'll strap this elbow to it. Then I can work on this copper. I got to get this copper line in and after that I just have a couple pieces of blocking and this wall is completely done. When I go to put the sink on, the piece that goes in here, it'll actually get glued into this piece first. It's an adapter, a uh, steel to PVC adapter, and it'll end up being about like that. This is a, a steel union and a nipple, two inch. The sink that's going here either has a two inch drain or a three inch drain. I can't even imagine a three inch drain. That's, that's toilet size right there. A uh, two inch drain is huge. The drain on your normal sink in your kitchen is inch and a quarter. So this, if you dump a bucket of water in here, it's just going to go straight down really quick. Okay, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to turn this heater on. It is incredibly cold outside and there's no heat in here so with the door closed it cools down in here pretty quick and then i turn off the heater so that it doesn't interfere with the audio and i forget about it and it gets real cold out here so i'm gonna go do that and i'll be right back and we'll get this copper in and we'll get that brace under here
All right, it is past 4.30, and I'm going to have to wrap this up if I want to get this video out tomorrow. All the plumbing is done. That is just awesome. Oh, somebody asked about the P-trap. This is the P-trap for this unit. It's a big old cast iron thing with a foot that goes on the floor and a cast iron plug for clean out. And it ends right here and then will be connected to my union right there at that point. I'm not even going to clean up this mess. It's already getting late and I want to get some painkiller on my hand get my saw in and get this video produced. So the next time I work on this, which will be tomorrow, I need a brace under that pipe. This can be drilled now. It'll just have two holes and go right in front of here and then a faucet will be attached to the front of that. And then the faucet has an arm that goes up to this brace and I can get that one in as well. Once I get them three pieces of wood in, this section's done. I might do a little bit down at the bottom, but then I have the blocking to do in these, and then I gotta block out that electrical box. And I have my electrical box slash communications box. I had to modify this to make it work. When I went to Menards, they had I'm guessing five or six different items. That's it. Out of all of their electric boxes, there was no boxes full of stuff on the shelf. It was just completely bare. It's like their supplier, they probably get the stuff made in China and can't get their supplies. So they did not have the Carlin one that this piece right here would have fit right on the Carlin one. So I had to take my knife and enlarge the hole on this. That is an inch diameter hole, and this is inch and a quarter conduit. But that wasn't that hard. And it's going to work just perfect up there. Can't wait to get that in. So we are getting really, really close. If you want to see this wrapped up, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.